Shalom Chavarim, I'm Stephen Bernoulli. You're watching Israeli News Live. Friends, this quick take of our broadcast. We have breaking news coming out of the United States. The Washington Post uh, is reporting that President Trump is going to end the covert CIA program to arm anti-Assad rebels in Syria, a move sought by Moscow for some time, according to the uh, article right here. Very interesting to see this, and I have to applaud President Trump if he is really going to make these steps to stop the CIA program that is arming the Assad terrorists, the Free Syrian Army, uh, etc., the rebels there. This is a major victory for the Syrian president, President Bashar al-Assad. How long will it last, though, is really the question that will be on many people's mind. The article here written by uh, Greg Joppe and Adam Ento uh, uh, Entos says, President Trump has decided to end the CIA covert program to arm and train moderate Syrian rebels battling the government of Bashar al-Assad, a move long sought by Russia, according to U.S. officials. The program has central plank of a policy begun by the Obama administration in 2013 to put pressure on the Assad to step, step aside. But even its backers have questions its efficiency since Russia deployed forces in Syria two years later. Officials said the phasing out of the secret program reflects Trump's interest in finding ways to work with Russia, which saw the anti-Assad program as an assault on its interests. The shuttering of the program, the shutting of the pro, shuttering of the program, uh, is also an acknowledgement of Washington's limited leverage and desire to remove Assad from power. Just three months ago, after the United States accused Assad of using chemical weapons, Trump launched retaliatory airstrikes against Syria's air base. At the time, UN Ambassador Nikki Haley said that in no way do we see peace in that area with Assad at the head of the Syrian government. Uh, so it's a big step, big change. I cannot help but wonder if this doesn't have something to do uh, with the uh, CNN article coming out today. U.S. intelligence shows North Korea preparations for a possible missile test. Uh, this also coming out here on July 19th, and another uh, uh, newscast that they did is that they believe that President Trump may be getting ready to do a first strike on North Korea. If that is the case, we certainly will be seeing Daniel 1144 coming to fruition, but tidings out of the east now the north shall trouble him, therefore he shall go forth with great fury to destroy it, utterly to make away many. So this all could be playing out as part of uh, a strategy that, the, that Rome has not wanted to see happen. They didn't want to see uh, this get postponed, but Daniel clearly saw that there would be a postponement because of trouble, tidings that are out of the east, now of the north. That's Russia and China willing to protect North Korea, and the U.S. may be getting ready to do a preemptive strike with their own coalition there. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, a quick take of our broadcast. Shalom.